What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Alright guys, on today's video, uh, mag-react tayo dun sa video ni Chuck. So for this one, ang title ng video na to is What Nobody Understands About Kenok SB19. Okay? So, but before we go on to this one, meron tayong mga mangilan ilan na shoutout. Okay? Namiss ko mag-shoutout. Okay, let's start with at drama guru lu143 uh princess jade1633 si jocelyn gonzalez9891 si uni bandilla3299 but may mga numbers uh maria dolores ramos9959 ayan so yun muna tayo okay so let's start with the video Disclaimer. My line yung video natin bakit ko. Ah, ito. Sino ang pinaka-spoiled sa grupo? Ito, ito po yung ito. Second. Sino ang mapakalimutan? Hindi mong patapos na, nagkamali pa siya. Ganun talaga. Bakit ang dami kid? Bakit si Ken? Bakit si Ken? Please, stop it. Wow. Ken is, in my opinion, the most successful idol in P-pop history. Most fans see him as someone who's living the life most of us can only dream of. But in reality, there's a lot more going on behind all the glitz and glamour. So in today's video, we will reveal the challenges he had to go through just to get where he is today. From being a scrawny kid who only ate instant noodles on his birthdays to becoming the CEO of his own company. Hey. I know, Ken's story is like a definition of rags to riches. And the haters are not having it. He quickly became one of the most polarizing figures in the P-pop industry. But before we talk about all that, let's talk about his humble beginnings because he's straight oh, up inspiring. Three, two, one, and... Yun. Sakto dun sa ano. So wait natin yan. Panori ko nga ulit yun. It was started in Zamwanga del Sur. This is the countryside where Felipe John Suson was raised. His mom wanted to name him Kenji, but his grandpa Felipe insisted to name him Philip. He was the youngest member of a family that barely had anything financially. They were very poor that instead of a cake on his birthday, all he gets is a plate of instant noodles. Life was so hard that having fried chicken was heaven for him, so it quickly became his all-time favorite. Because of this, both of his parents had to go overseas to find better paying jobs to support the education of Ken and his older sister. He had to be taken under the care of his grandparents. He then grew up in a church and his grandpa was the pastor. He was just a scrawny kid who likes mathematics and discovered drawing as his first talent. So he went on to become an editorial cartoonist in school. Wow. Family gatherings in the Philippines always require a karaoke machine. And Kent's extended family wasn't a stranger to that. He used <laughs> to hide video. during these occasions because he was always asked to sing. I was told by some sources that Ken had a very good singing voice as a kid but lost his confidence when puberty hit because it gave him an ultra deep voice which turned out to become one of his greatest assets in the future because of the dude named Pablo. I never thought that I never thought that may mga tao talaga makapag-appreciate ng voice ko. Kasi hindi ako ganoon ka confident sa voice ko kasi yung range ko mababa lang tapos malalim yung boses ko. Ngayon, parang naging na-appreciate ko na yung boss ko dahil may mga tao na appreciate na. Mm. Anyway, his newfound love for music got him to learn his first musical instrument without anyone teaching him. So he ended up becoming a southpaw guitarist but later fixed it as Hello, he learned okay. more. He was also active in sports representing his school in regional tournaments. He played some table tennis and sepak takraw as a spider. For those who don't know, this position requires exceptional skills to perform explosive jumps to block and spike the ball. The teacher saw this as a potential that can translate into good dancing. So he was offered to join the dance club for better grades. He was hesitant at first but when he tried, you all know what happened next. Watching his early clips feels like he was born to dance. 
He was even hired by his school to choreograph some dance routines. He then moved to Cagayan de Oro to study architecture in college. He became a member of the dance crews called Excite, GA7, and Amigo7. These last two crews were so good, in fact, Ken had a crewmate named Joshua who went on to become a member of a successful international idol group in the future called Z-Boys. They were beating everybody in the countryside so there was no point in competing there anymore. It was time for the big leagues. They got invited to join major K-pop dance competitions and this was the first time when Ken met other SB19 would-be members. Not as brothers, but as enemies. In one particular contest, Josh and Stell's crew defeated Ken's because they already had a gold status in the industry at the time. Ken accepted defeat gracefully and even asked to be trained by Josh, which actually surprised him because he thought Ken was a show off. <laughs> But because of their distance, the training together never happened. Yep. Ken then went home to continue his studies. Fast forward to 2017, he received oh. a message from Josh. It was an invite to audition for the fifth member spot of SB19. But there's one problem. Ken had no money, so Josh was like, How we know this no problem, one. I'll take care of it. Ken then told his grandma about stopping school to pursue it and she was very hesitant because she thought it was a scam and his parents overseas would have automatically said no. But Ken was so close to his grandma that he managed to convince her to go in secret. So our country boy took off to pursue his dreams. He had nothing with him except his phone, his clothes, and a 1,500 peso pocket money. This time when he arrived at the airport, there was no crew. It was all Ooh. him. So imagine how that Taking was. Taking the risk, no? Anyway, he took a taxi to SBT talent camp and of course, the drivers camped him. He had to Ooh. pay 600 pesos for a supposedly 150 peso trip. What a ripoff. Anyway, he finally met Josh and the boys and started training with them for a year while crashing into a distant relative's house to rest up. He slept on the floor, oh, not with a comforter, but a banig. Because yep. if he didn't, he would be homeless. Ken had no salary when he was still training, so he moonlighted as a small-time model to survive. Oh, which this is an one experience I don't know. that would play a big role in his future. The dude was literally fighting for his dreams every single day. So here comes 2018, hey. when they finally debuted and though it was a rocky start, they gradually progressed to become the greatest P-pop group God has ever created. Nice. If you want to know more about their story as a group, check out the SB19 story series I made, linked down in the description. You can also join the highest tier of our channel's membership if you're interested to be credited as one of the executive producers. So how did Ken become the most polarizing P-pop idol? Hey. Like how is he either obsessively loved by fans or obsessively hated by bashers? Well, he has this persona of a badass dude who doesn't give a shit. And if you combine that with one of the many accusations thrown at him, then they got themselves a new P-pop villain in the making. But there's one thing in common between all those issues. They lack evidence. There are a few exceptions though. But you can't say a person is arrogant just because he looks cool and badass. Exactly. The dude is even a softie. He tends to cry in interviews and emotional moments. His awkwardness as a kid is still there and this TikTok clip says it all. Me and you and you and me, just us and your friend Steve. Do 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 Steve. <laughs> also, you can't just call a person lazy just because you've seen a few clips of him sleeping. I mean, isn't it a result of him working too hard? Exactly. Being an idol and running your own clothing company at the same time is no joke. Yep. The dude only used to draw this aspiration, but now he made it happen. He managed to build a company that sold out merch in just minutes. It's insane. It's even rumored that his company is now worth more than a million. Whether it's true or not, it put an even bigger target on his back. And haters started coming up with even more ridiculous claims. Like accusing him of copying two K-pop music ah, yeah. videos just because Grab they have him. a similar vibe. One and was... my ads are lit. Ain't nothing. Normally the loy ads eh? Debunk though. Ouch. If you want to check it out, I made a video about it. Link down in the description. 
His main dancer position got also heavily criticized because of one single clip of him messing up on live TV. It wasn't fair in my opinion because Ken has always been consistent in his dance performances, yet the haters suddenly forgot about how good he really is. Ken never fired back. Or did he? Normal na mga kamali. So why does the poultry still exist and are still growing in numbers after all the bashing? Well, it's because he doesn't only have the alluring personality, but he also has the capability to back it up. Yep. Crash that. Capabilities. What's crazy about Ken is that he has already shown us enough talent like his exceptional dancing and singing that is enough to fulfill a main vocal role. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> yeah, he still has a lot of secrets. I'm telling you, man, this guy is a living anime character. Have you heard of an idol who is also a CEO? A dancer who is known for his aerial flips but never tells us that he can also break dance. A singer who writes and co-produces his own songs. A musician that plays guitar, keyboard, drums, and can even beatbox. A fashion influencer. A man who plays sports like basketball, billiards, volleyball, badminton, table tennis, boxing, and sepak takraw with decent proficiency. A skater boy. An artist. A philanthropist. Yep. And most especially, a man of faith. I initially thought that the Superior Sound brand was all about him, but I was quickly proven wrong when I found this Bible verse underneath his Bulan CD, Hebrews 1, 5-14. The entire passage is lengthy, but it all boils down to Christ being the superior of all beings. Wow. I mean, all of us have different religions, some don't even have one, but I just respect people like him who stand firm behind their beliefs. Yep. As of today, Ken has established himself as an arguably the most successful P-pop idol and the richest among his co-members. And it's just the beginning. They're still on their way to introducing Filipino music to the world through the US as of the making of this video. And his group SB19 is the first one to ever do it. Exactly. So what did about Ken's story? For me, it was his persistence and willingness to take risks. Have you ever noticed that sometimes it's your loved ones that said no to your aspirations? Because, you know, they care about you. They don't want you to fail and all that. Do you know how many people have had visions, ideas, and huge career moves that they were about to do, but they allowed the word no to stop them? For all I know, you might be one of those people. The difference with Ken is that he never gave the power to the word no. It was his own grandma who tried to stop him, but he continued. Yes, haters exist, but he didn't reject his own ideas just because they rejected his ideas. Haters hate because they feel small when your ideas start turning into reality. He once said in an interview that success is the best revenge, so he yep. stopped killing them with kindness. To this day, Ken has been torturing them with success. Yes! Let's go! And stop natin yan. Ayan, grabe. Some of the, yung mga ibang part na, na nakalagay dito sa video, uh, familiar na tayo. Pero yung iba, sobrang ngayon ko lang nalaman. Sorry kung medyo tahimik tayo kayo kasi ayoko kasing i-post yung video. Ang ganda nung ano eh. 
uh, setup ng pagkakagawa ng video. So, parang ayoko maputol. So, ayun guys. Super, super, super na nag-enjoy ako sa video mo, uh, Chuck. And, yeah, try pa natin yung mga iba pa niyang video. Pero, siguro, ano tayo, alternative, alter, alternate tayo. Uh, ibang video din sa kanya and sa mga iba pang videos. Okay? So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe kay Chuck. And, subscribe na rin kayo sa akin para everybody is happy. God bless. See you next time.